I cannot believe I'm making another video about terminal and busbar connections. It totally feels like I'm cursed here. This is a brand new battery, brand new cells, brand new bus bars, and I've got massive problems with that. Well, you have seen the previous video and you have seen the candles. The terminals are heating up a lot. And well, and then I used one of these bus bars or one of Maddie's flexible bus bars here, and there's no problem anymore. The terminals stay cool. And guys, I want to show you something. Ah, first of all, welcome back to the off pit garage here in... <sighs> Can't believe it's happening again. So, this is the bus bar which is missing. And potentially... Let me see if I can get the right angle. And you can see we have cleaned this area. See, it's clean here, dirty there. Here's the, here's the border. And the same on the other side. See, this one is clean. And this one is dirty in the middle here. There's the border. That's where I wiped it off. And put the no oxide A special. I think this lot is not good here. The 10130. It's just not good. Well, this is what I have done so far, right? And it causes problems. So this is one of the bus bars which heats up a lot. Obviously, there is high resistance between terminal and bus bar. And this is what we can see in the infrared camera looking like a candle. All right. So what I have done now, I have this insulation board. It is absolutely 100% straight. Yeah, put this here on the workbench and I have a sandpaper, 800 grit. So it's really, really fine sandpaper. And here we put this on our board and then we use the bus bar. This is the one I've just shown you. Put this here on the sandpaper and just go gently up and down five times, right? You can see where the scratches are, right? So scratches are obviously areas where the bus bar peaks out and the darker color here are areas where the bus bar is lower. You can also see here along the edge, it's bright, right? And here, darker color and here is a bit brighter color. You can see scratches there. There you can see scratches, but not over here. So obviously the bus bar has contact here and along the edge, but not in the middle. I found this quite interesting. So it looks like the bus bar is not 100% flat. If we assume now the bus bar is a little bit concave, it should be the other way around on the other side, right? Let's do the test. I'll just move it up and down five times, very gentle pressure. There, there you can see it again. Around the edges, white. This where this is where the sandpaper has taken away material. This is a bit hard to see here. So it's darker here and white over here along the edges again. Well, I want to show you another bus bar I have done before. Here you can see the scratches. Dark. Dark means the sandpaper has not touched it and white around the edges. This is where the washer set and this is the area where it touches the bus bar. So let's try this again. Let's try the other side here. Just do it in a circular motion. See this one seems to be pretty uniform now. There's no dark or bright areas anymore. It's fairly uniform. You can see the mirroring finish over here and this is all scratched up now from the sandpaper. So I'm basically sanding these bus bar down until there's no darker area. It's all uniform with the same color. Okay, let's try the other side here. So we've done this one here now. 
Let's try this side. Yeah, there you can see it again. There you go. So, and then right afterwards, I'm using my no oxide. I know people have told me it takes only milliseconds until you've got another layer of oxide on aluminium, especially when you sand it down. But this is what I have done with all the other bus bars now as well. And well, now I'm putting it back on the terminals, screw it down, put our balance lead back in. I will do this now for all the bus bars and see if it makes any difference at all. Well, obviously it makes a difference, otherwise I wouldn't do it, because I have tested now three of the bus bars and couldn't see any candles anymore when charging the vehicle, for example, only from this one battery. So we give it a go. I will prepare all the bus bars now with this method, put them back on and see what the result is to what we had in the previous video. What a f***ing nightmare. The same shit happens to the same guy again. It's not good. And I'm also using only four Newton meter now to tighten them down. And afterwards, I get a black marker so I know which one I've done already. Okay, I'll keep going and then we have another look. But this will be tomorrow because I need to go inside and edit the last video. Well, the one before this one here, you have already seen. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, see you tomorrow. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I have now prepared all the bus bars. I have sanded all the ends down with the sandpaper, wiped them off and put the paste on it. No oxide, a special, not 10130. Everything is torqued with four Newton meters again. And pretty much one battery, one test, one result. We are good to go. And um, need to plug in the vehicle. Turn off one battery. Okay, this runs on 16 amps now. Okay, I'm turning off the solar charge controllers as well. So this should go to zero here in just a second. Uh, and now we are pulling 85, 88 amps from the battery, delivering four kilowatt and a little bit of DC here as well to the other inverter. At 4.1, 4.2 kilowatts from the battery now. Single battery. And the interesting part is the bus bars are now cold. So I cannot feel any heat at all. They're feeling like cold metal. This one is a bit warmer than the others, but nothing like before. I would say this one and this one are the warmest. I mean, they are less than hand warm, I would say. Let's check on the infrared camera. So, let's have a look. We just started the test. I've got a little hot spot there. On this bus bar. And we've got one here. But everything else seems to be fine so far. This one is heating up a bit. Okay, let's give it a few minutes. So yeah, these ones are cold, metal cold. Yeah, this one is a bit warm. You can feel the difference. Cold, 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 cold. So they all have good contacts now. It's only this one here and this one for some reason. Well, these were the last two I did actually in this whole series here. Maybe I wasn't concentrated enough anymore and have done something wrong. I'll just 
sand and wipe them off again with a paste and then we put them back on and see what the result is later on but they are not getting hot anymore as before and these ones here cold metal cold nice so while well, i got you here uh, we want to do a test here on these two on these two cables here going into the bms i want to see if there's actually a difference in current that is 50 amps 51 amps for this one and look at this 35 for the other one that's quite a difference see the bottom one is even closer to the bus bar where the actual current goes through and the other one sits on top of the bottom one you yeah, know there's nothing heating up or so but interesting to see that difference 37 to 50 let's see the other side 40 42 44 there yeah so that's a bit better here should I be concerned uh, probably not it's 50 amps per cable that's totally fine and we don't get any heat or something here BMS is a bit hand warm but all good all good so let's see if I can get the battery in full on the picture Yep, there we go. And we can see these two bus bars terminals are heating up a bit. Everything else seems to be a lot better. Okay, let's go a bit closer to these ones and see what's going on. 29 is the bus bar. There, are 31 the terminal so something is still not right with this terminal here on this side of the battery yeah it looks a lot better than before right we don't have the candles anymore but I still need to work these two contacts again these two bus bars so it is only this terminal here with 32 degrees and potentially these two well this one is actually cold here yeah, the bus bar, the bus bar feels coldish. Okay, I'll do this later, and then we should be fine. Yeah, see this bus bar here down here in the corner. It is totally blue here in the video. If you go a bit closer and can have only these two terminals here on the picture, we can see we've got a temperature of about 31 degrees here at the terminal directly. The bus bar feels cold and well I cannot feel any heat actually it's actually cold here so 31 degrees on a cold bus bar connection and we have 32 degrees here so it's not overly critical yeah this is the reflection it measures now on top of the bus bar because it's reflecting there that's my belly reflecting <laughs> it looks dramatic here on the picture yeah, there it is. There it is. That's the whole battery. And 30 degrees is this terminal. That's the hottest spot on top of the battery now. I think it is totally fine, but I will work it again just to see if I can get it down a little bit more. Man, all these bus bar situations, all these connections between terminals and bus bars, it is just insane. Medi has sent me all these bus bars now here, all these different types with this single. Uh, I think it's a 10 gauge wire here, four of them in parallel, or with the four gauge wire here. And I will test them all out, and they worked fine on the battery here. They are just a tiny bit too small for my taste. Four gauge wire is around 20 square millimeter or something, so this would be good for around 80 amps or so. So it's just on the corner of what I actually want for the battery. Well guys, as you know from my previous videos long long time ago, I had trouble with the connections between terminals and bus bars before. And I cleaned, I sanded, I 
put paste in between, I didn't put paste in between, I used different bus bars. There was always a problem with the connections for some reason, always. And it doesn't seem any different here. So I'm not sure what that is, if this is the climate here. Well, even we just had a flood here, usually it is super dry here. We've, we've got less than 15% of air moisture usually here. So it's not like it's tropical wet or moist or damp or something. Not at all. It is super dry here usually. And I don't think it's a problem with the moisture. So what I think is the bus bars, they were lying here on my workbench for months since Paul sent them over and I haven't used them and they weren't in a box or something they were just lying there and they attracted all the moisture now and just corroded built this oxide layer and well I put the paste on put them on the terminals and it just didn't work the resistance was just too high but I also must say they don't seem to be a hundred percent plain I had a look at these bus bars which came with the batteries here. They are not super plain either. I have actually sanded one of these down here as well. Here you can see it. There, there. And it sanded only this part here, not the other stuff around. But this is copper. And it's relatively, it's only two or three millimeters, two millimeters copper. And it, it flexes, it bends. As soon as you put a force of four Newton meters on these bus bars, they bend down and have actually good contact to the uh, terminals. The aluminum bus bars with four millimeter, they don't bend that easy anymore. The, the material is just too thick for that. So at the end, it was probably a combination of the thickness of the not one million percent straight bus bars plus the oxide layer, which caused the issue. But it looks like it is resolved now. We don't have the candles anymore lighting up here and the system is now running for about 15 minutes or so just charging the vehicle now from this one battery here luckily it was only a little bit of sanding a bit of cleaning it all seems good now all right guys so far this <laughs> this video again here from the off-grid garage guys i'm not making this shit up to make a video here this is just what i experience here i share it with you because i have read the comments and some of you guys have had the same problem with their batteries. 800 grit sandpaper and the no oxide, a special lot 10130 seems to have helped here. We will see if this is a permanent fix actually, or if it hunts us back at some stage. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel and, and your generous donations. Until the next video guys, I'm not sure when this is because we are still offline. I'm still living off a crappy mobile access point here. Anyway, until the next video, guys, you stay charged and safe. And thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye. 30 degrees, it says. That's not hot. See, the cables are getting a lot hotter here. And the BMS. Ooh, and the breaker. <laughs>